Hey, Orange One here. So uh, we are at Phaikaeon again, and there's a siege going down. Um, they've basically taken the castle, so we're going to get in on this and take it. But we're basically at war with these guys again. Um, Vlanda, they ended up calling off the war um, after we took all of these castles. I think we were, ca we were definitely involved in that one. We were definitely involved in that one. And we definitely fought off a number of lords up here. Um, they ended up taking Jacqueline back, but we do have Ostakan still. Uh, just, you know, a number of cool things kind of going on around here. But now we're at war with the one of the most powerful factions right now. Um, I have boosted up my army numbers quite a bit, but they're all like totally noobs. They're like really, really bad units. Um, but if we go to, is it K? Yeah, K, and we go to Diplomacy. The Kuzate, we're actually stronger than them. Um, but they've had more successful sieges and raids. So we're about to have a successful siege, which is great. And I'm interested to see if we ended up staying with this group here. Um, how big of an enemy force we'll end up fighting against. Because, I mean, 1,400 is pretty big number right there. If And I don't think we're going to take that many casualties taking this castle. I mean, they don't have, like that great of siege equipment but they do have a tower and a ram which is like kind of my go-to i've been look, watching some videos though and i think there's a number of strategies that we could use that are better yeah we've taken this place before so it's a little bit of deja vu and i don't know if the numbers were quite in our favor this much but they were definitely in our favor last time yeah we're getting oh dude there's a couple guys with arrows in their head there um, I don't know what's going on with them just kind of standing there while they're getting shot. Ooh, got that one. So I think if I aim there, I might hit that dude. Oh, that was close. There we go. Not quite. How about this guy? It's just a little too low. Yeah, the good news is that by hanging out by these archers here, we'll have some arrows drop. Oh look, I got medicine points because all of these people are dying. Great. Isn't that nice? Oh, look at that headshot. That was pretty good. Um, they're shooting at that window, which makes me think there's some people in there. Um, they're firing down on us. I mean, that dude's definitely firing down on us. Oh. 99 damage. That guy survived a headshot. There's actually a surprising number of people who do survive headshots in this game. Not that guy, though. Uh, where is someone? Is that a dude? That's a dude. Yeah, okay, so any quivers on the ground? There's tons of quivers on the ground right now. Just need to make sure I don't get, like, killed. Uh... I don't want just a single arrow, there's a whole stack of them. Guys, can I just get in here for a second? Where is it? Oh, man. I know that we're gonna have to grab a couple of these, I think, to be able to <laughs> select the quiver. God, this is annoying. Okay, we'll just take a couple individual arrows for now. I can work with that. Uh, you up there need to die. There we go. And you, same with you. Oh man. That dude behind me just knocked into me as I shot, but we actually... No, we're, we're getting him. No, we did not get him. Never mind. There we go, we got him. I'm gonna try once more. There we go. That's That's what I needed. We're trying to shoot in there, it looks like. There. Nice. Cool, I like being able to see where they're shooting. That gives me actually a good idea of where enemies are. And there we go. That guy on a ballista or something. Is that... No, he's not on siege equipment, I don't think. Maybe he is. Could be. Definitely could be. That's our guys on the walls now. Cool. 
Um, I might see if I can get some more arrows and then we're gonna charge in. Cool. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get in there. Hello? I like how you can see through there. Oh, you may notice that the game looks a little bit nicer. I upgraded the graphics just ever so slightly um, because I put a frame limit on. Um, it was getting up to 200 frames per second, which was rough on my graphics card, you know, so I just kind of limited the, the frames and it's doing so much better since I did that. It's like honestly performing pretty well. Uh, that As long as that dude's off the ballista, I'm kind of happy. I didn't see where he went though, which is unfortunate. Looks like that we're doing pretty good. We got the walls. And are they actually going through the center this time? Oh nice! I think they might have patched that. It looks like we're actually in now. Cool. Nice. The AI got patched so they can actually go through the wall. Oh, that is, that is superb. I love that. That worked really well. God, look at this. This does look nice. And we are at 30 right now. I limited it to 110, so it's definitely the siege is making it stutter a little bit. But it's actually, I don't know. It's still playable. It's definitely noticeable, though. I think for some reason when we get actually in the walls it slows down even more. I think it might be like the pathing or something has just slowed down that, that much more. Those aren't enemies, no those are units. And I think they're all just trying to path and they're having a hard time finding the right path with all of them running at the same time. Pretty sure is what's going on. Okay. Uh, I don't know where the last of them are but We've stormed the walls at this point. This whole place is ours. We're gonna set up a nice little shop in there. I don't know. We'll see. Oh look, there's like a little... Is that a tavern or is that a... Yeah, I think that's a tavern. Well, excuse me boys, I'm gonna go to the tavern. I'll see you all after after you take out the last of them. <laughs> How cool would that be if you could do that? <laughs> Wait, hold on, I just want to see. Is this... This isn't the tavern, is it? Oh, is this the tavern? No, I don't know. I, I need to check this out when we're done with the siege. I'm going to come back here and check this all out. That's really interesting. Hmm. Okay. We'll go try and find that, that sign. I'm just kind of curious. We'll go through all the menus. And, you know, we usually let people go in the wars. I am concerned because we're fighting the Kuzates. And I don't think we should let them go. I think we should actually imprison them. Um, it's a, a shame because we actually are very charming. And we might be able to convince some of them to join us. If it's a mercenary group, I might... Um, we'll see. Um, or I don't even get any lords to, to decide. I'm just curious. I want to see if I go to the tavern. I'm going to just go to the tavern and check out the outside because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, so we weren't inside the tavern. But I think we were close. Yeah, this is the tavern. Oh yeah, so we ran down here. Huh. Okay, so this is actually just a normal place you can run through. That's weird. It's like a little courtyard. It's kind of cool. That is super bizarre. Okay. I guess that's a little shortcut you can take. Nice. I think there's a lot of possibility in the cities for them to do some really cool stuff with that. Um, I am going to just take a second to um, yeah, see if there's any troops. Yeah, because we lost some people. Uh, did we really lose that many people in the sea? Yeah, we must have taken some losses there. Um, let's go back to the tavern and do what we do. Hire some thugs. Come join me. I have lots of lots of money. Honestly, check out how much cash we have. And how much influence. So look at how much influence we're getting from Council of the Commons. And um, we're getting a fair amount from Legata and Feudal Inheritance as well. So we're generating a ton of this. I've been just going to the uh, Kingdom thing. Oh, owner of Phycaon. Uh, Who do I want to... I, I think... I've I've really I like the these guys a lot. So if I did like that or like that, he would get it. Oh man. 
Yeah. No. Okay. Well, he's going to like us a lot more. He already liked us a lot, I think. Um, our charm is even higher. So there's a thing that I saw someone do. You can just go around and give influence to people in here, and it levels up your charm. So basically what you're doing is you're like, hey, I'm going to give you more power in the kingdom by doing this. So what I like to do is I like to go to these little guys and give them lots of influence so they can influence things in the kingdom. And I don't want to run all of my influence down, but I've been doing that a fair amount. Um, and you can use influence to get lords to follow you, but I haven't really found that I have needed to do that. Let's just kind of hang out. Uh, you're besieging another city. There was a lord of like a hundred that just like went by here, which I'm kind of interested in seeing if we can catch someone. Uh, maybe? I mean, they're getting crushed. Yeah, there's another... Wait, you're trying to engage? Yeah, you're dead. That's not... This is... You're totally surrounded, man. Good luck. That is terrible. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know if I really want to even fight this. Sure, let's do it. Just because. Just because. Sergeants in charge! I just kind of want to show off the game. It does look a fair amount better. I, I had a couple things turned on high, and I took them to very high. Um, and I had, like, the anti... What was the anti-aliasing? Or something like that. It was, like, times eight. It took that to times 16, and I think it's looking quite a bit nicer. I can't believe it took me that long to figure out if I just put the limit on the frames, then we're going to get that much better performance. Oh man, there's so many cavalry. I don't think we even need the infantry. We'll just take them out like this. The coups eight here. Yeah, I, you know, I was wanting to show off the peacetime. I really was. But um, these guys declared war on us. As soon as I had amassed my, my forces back together, which it was kind of monotonous. And um, we do have some lords that like us a fair amount near, uh, like, well, what was Vlandia. So I do kind of want to show you that at some point. But I just didn't want to, like, spend, like, like, three episodes, like, recruiting new units. Okay. There we go. You can see that I'm getting kind of good at, at the intercepting of the infantry. And we did have them outnumbered like 10 to 1 or something like that, but still. You know, Brennock, uh, can I get more information? I am trying to right click him. The vassal of the Kuze, um, If I look at your clan, this is the leader of your clan. Yeah, so I probably want to make, and you're probably like nobody, to be honest. I I know I said I was going to take prisoners, but that dude's like seriously a nobody. And you saw how many units he had. It's not like he's going to come back particularly strong either. Um, We could go over to one of these castles and try and take one of them. I think that's probably yeah they're actually trying to go to this castle as well they had the same idea let's take out the enemy where they're they're easy to take out and i think you know with our recent sieging of that city we're in a pretty nice situation right now um how many defenders are there i can i, I got this kingy you don't have to you don't have to be here for this i got it um and we got such a numbers advantage, I'm just going to rush these things. We'll, we'll kind of keep an eye on what we can see from here. Yeah, this person's thinking they can they can take me on, but we got the king. Um, they're actually going to another city. So I think if we pull people to us, that's going to enable our companions to um, siege other cities pretty effectively. And also, it's going to pull enemies towards us. So like, if this 87 
stack wanted to take us out, it's gonna have a hard time. I actually want to look at its composition. Actually, they've still got a fair amount of noob units. Oh, wait, what? An escort merchant caravan? Oh, I forgot I even had that quest. Okay, so we got the siege camp. That's good. And um, our engineering skill isn't great. You know, we haven't really invested points into it. I might want to start seeing about that. I don't know how much, though. I'm kind of feeling like I've kind of gone I've astray from the original goal of this character just being like a super rich merchant, and now they're just like this warmongering sorry lord you know let's see yeah we got a ram um yeah we'll get the tower as well i kind of was um no we're we're getting out of here that's a pretty nasty looking army or we could attack we could attack and and uh I mean, with a ram and just a ram, we could take some heavy losses, but if we got in the castle, I think we would be okay. Because the numbers that they have and the numbers we have, if we just don't lose like a hundred people, I think we're going to be okay. Just hopefully that ram doesn't get destroyed, so we need to try and take out that siege equipment that they've got. Um, where is it? I don't actually see any siege equipment. I thought they had something. I'm not seeing it. Oh, yeah, the horse is getting shot. Uh, uh oh. What's going on here? Oh no. Come on. Come on, Bessie, I believe in you. At least with the glitch in it, it looks like they had a hard time hitting me. I don't actually see them shooting any siege equipment at us, so I think that we might be okay. Let's try and uh, let's try and capitalize on this a little bit. I think that that dude right there is looking pretty prime. Prime target. There we go. Maybe I, I should get off the horse for this. I need to get my athletics up, honestly. Just get up on the hill just a little bit more. I just want to get a better angle. But we gotta be careful because they could just totally kill me. They could just like see me and just like take me out. Oh man. There we go. There, you're down. Yeah. Oh! Is that what I think it is? Did I see that? Was that siege equipment that was firing there? Uh oh, we got infantry coming in. At least the ladder is short here. Yeah, you're not gonna slow them down. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's definitely siege equipment right there that's firing. If I could fire on the dude that's operating that, that'd be great. It does not look like it's gonna let me do that though. Um. Oh man, I almost got him. Yeah, these guys are gonna be annoying. Well, luckily though, we have me. <laughs> So we can take out a number of these guys and hopefully get an advantage that we can work with. Okay, we've lost all of our arrows. Any more arrows, please? Oh, look, the rams, the rams in. Okay, that's good. That's a really, really, really good thing for us, actually. I'll take that arrow. Anyone that I can shoot, and I might be able to get some of these infantrymen. Yeah. And we'll just work with what we got here, which is not a whole lot, but I think that we've actually basically taken the castle at this point. And we've, we're in the walls. I thought for a minute that that dude right there was actually alive still, but they're not. Is the ram... Yeah, the ram's gone them in. I think they're working on the walls. Yeah. Okay, so we're pretty much... pretty much... through. And we didn't take that many losses, right? I mean, we did lose, a, what was that, more than a tenth of our force. I think if we get what we've got in the walls, oh man, look at them, they're all retreating. This is about to be really brutal. We'll just watch. Is there anyone in there? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> not a good spot to run to right there, guys, in a siege. I'm not gonna lie. That was 
pretty bad spot. Let's get in this castle. Man, we got we got pretty lucky with that. Yeah. I'll let them do the last of the ones that are trying to run. I don't know if it makes a difference. We got 28 level ups, that's pretty solid. Um, prisoners. I don't know if I want to take the prisoners because it might slow me down. We can take him and dump him, though. I don't know. Um. Oh look, awesome! We got some people that are willing to join us. That'll make us go faster if we—they're not as, as prisoners if they're actual people in our army. Cool. I know I should have probably taken them as prisoner. I actually just said I was going to, and I said no. Um, okay. Just making sure that no time is passing. What is our speed right now? 3.4 compared to 3.3. .3. Yeah, we're fine. We're totally safe. I'm going to... Just get in there. They're gonna put troops in there. Let's see how much we've got to work with right now. Cool. Actually, I might see if we can attack this lord. I'm just gonna maybe. They're defending Melian Castle. Where's Melian? Okay, so there, there's someone who's over there that might benefit from me backing them up. Um, let's get our cohesion up though. All the way. Yeah, dude, if I can get you, I'm gonna get you. If I can, ta if I can take out 93, but he's too fast. He, he really is. Oh, actually, you have almost caught up speed-wise. What's uh, going on with our speed? Our high morale is helping. Our prisoners are slowing us down. 0.16. So if I get rid of my prisoners, I might be able to catch you. Let's, let's have a look at what prisoners we have here and how much we can speed ourselves up here. We want to get to 4.7, maybe 4.8. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of you. Get rid of you guys. I want to keep you though. And you guys I want to keep. I'm going to get rid of my expensive ones. I know we could get a lot of money for them, but I'm honestly wanting to hold on to the ones that I can get as uh, recruits. <sighs> That's still not enough. What if I got rid of all the prisoners? How fast would I be? Yeah, even if I got rid of all of them, I wouldn't be fast enough. Okay, let's follow that big ol' group. Saying following two legs party. Uh, we should probably make our way over to Melian. Oh, I wanted to show you something. I don't know if this is, this is definitely a bug. But if you go to these places, your companions can get recruits, even though they've been looted and you can't pick up recruits. They totally can. It's kind of bizarro. Um, but let's go to that castle because that big old stack is... Oh, they're besieging Gauss now, actually. Well, you know, if that means they're off the back of our friends, then that's probably a good thing, right? Actually, you know what? We might be able to prevent them taking Gauss. If we can... How fast are you? If we can get there before them... Actually, we might be able to fight them in an open battle right now. Hold up. Um, army time. Yeah, something happened to this army over here. Someone was leading a big ol' army and it, it did not go well. Yeah, why don't you guys uh, all get with me right now? Come, come join my party. We're gonna... We're gonna crush this, this dude. Yeah. Good luck getting away from us right now, man. I'm gonna wait just a little bit so there's a few more lords getting in on this. And that looks good to me. 800 against 400, man. Oh, this is gonna be a pretty good ratio of kills Sergeants, take to death. Oh, this is gonna be so, so good. I mean, honestly, the battle advantage is not as significant as I thought it would be. It's about two to two thirds to one third. Uh, they do have a lot of horse archers, though, which we probably want to be proactively countering right now. 
Yeah. I'll let the AI kind of control the cab though. They, they seem to be okay at it. Oh my gosh, they just straight up charged into our infantry. Uh, okay. If you, that's uh, what you think is a good plan, go for it. I mean, I've got a lot of cavalry here that can catch up to you. And... <laughs> this is perfect, actually, for me. Let's see. Um, hold on, give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, let's see. I think I have to go soon, so I'm just going to try and finish this up pretty quick. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. There's something sat really extra satisfying about doing that to the Kuzates. Beating them at their own game. The horse archer game. Or the horse game, really. Man, we've got so much cavalry. <gasps> we have a we have a camel boy. I didn't know that there was units like that. That's the Jawal Bedouin. Oh man, I'm gonna try and get more of you. I'm gonna become super good friends with that dude. I don't know if that's gonna get me more of them, but I think I'll get more of them in the Asari Nation. Which I think ultimately will get us more of them ourselves. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I think we almost got Lance there. That was... <laughs> we actually got super lucky, I think. Oh man, come on. Come on, orange one. <laughs> That's how you do it, right there. And right there. Oh man, where did we even hit him? Abdomen? That was just luck, honestly. Oh, there's a lot of them right here, though. Oh. Yeah, you guys are just gonna stand there. Okay. Just stay in formation for me. It's fine. That's totally fine. Yeah, these are just the nomads, so I think they might... Are they trying to retreat right now? No, I don't think they are. I think they're trying to get into the battle. Though, I don't know why they would want to, because we are clearly um, winning this. Well, maybe not clearly. They they actually are inflicting a good amount of casualties. Oh man, this is actually kind of crazy right here. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I should be though. I think it distracted them. It kind of turned a number of their units my way. God, this is insane. This is actually super cool. This is probably one of the more fun battles that I've had going through the infantry like this. Okay, yeah, they're they're starting to fall back though. Cool. Yeah, so that that went really well. I think though after this we'll be done though. Um, yeah. Looks pretty good. Uh, should we just? Yeah, we'll let them get the last of them. I don't know, are we gonna- no. I'm just gonna try and get the shot, but... Nope. I mean, they actually took out a good chunk of our army. They didn't- I, I almost want to say they took out as many people as we took out, but we'll have um, people recover, whereas they'll be like prisoners. You know? So if we get those prisoners... Um, yeah, let's take them prisoner. We just beat, like, a huge army. We might as well. I mean, if that's... If there's any point to take prisoners, that's the point to take prisoners. I am going to actually, yeah, let's get some potential recruits here. We'll get some twos and threes. And we gotta level up our, our people. Man, I'm, I'm super excited about seeing the camel in that battle. I want to see more of that. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm ridiculous. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be glorious, trust me. Uh, we do have that one lord is a prisoner. We do. I think we got a good number of prisoners with us, so I think that we're okay. Um, holding on to him. Uh, do I want to take him back to the city? I think I'm going to take him back. 
uh, let's go here first. We'll go here first. And we actually have all those people following me. Uh, I'm sorry. I just went through all of those menus. Wait, what? That's weird. That's like our, our faction. Okay, whatever. Uh, do I want to actually advance? How much food do I have? I've got 79 days of food. We've got an army size of 500. I'm not sure if we should go for a city or a castle next. I think we probably want to go for a Melion castle. I think that's what they were, the AI was trying to do. Um, let's, yeah, we'll get going. We should get moving. Oh, look, we're sharing food, so they're actually appreciating that. Um, we do need to be careful, though, because we're feeding a lot of people right now. So I know it says we got 79 days of food there, but we don't actually have 79 days of food. That's just the, the calculated number it's going to give us. Man, and you know what's awesome is with the influence that we're generating from the castles, we actually... Oh, what? You're going 1.3? Well, you have a ton of prisoners. Hello. Hello there. Okay. Um, yes. You're definitely gonna <laughs> give me those troops. Um, like right now. This should go super quick, I know. We were saying that the other one was lost. This will probably be like less than a minute there's so few of their troops compared to ours i think we have more cavalry than their entire troop yeah pretty much so we should honestly just rush in there and take them out and it should be fine look at my boys here with the camels <laughs> oh man that was rewarding oh that was i did feel bad about that one though and that one. And that one. Yeah, you guys are really not in a good situation here. That's like one of those situations where the AI really should just surrender. You know? Or like even mutiny against the Lord. If the Lord told you to charge into this battle, I might mutiny. Like, you know, nope. Not happening. And there's like no real point, right? Yeah, okay, there we go. That's it. Hey, we got some level ups. And we got a ton of troops, actually. I'm gonna need to give some of those troops to... I, I was gonna say one of... Yeah, that's... Should I give it to one of my guys or another lord? We'll give it to another lord. Who in my army am I gonna give this to? Yeah, you you're um you're a big lord. You're a big timer. Let's see. Um uh benefit. Can I give him troops? Is there a way for me to do that? No. There's not. Okay, I thought that I could give you troops. I guess I can't. I'm going to go ahead and do it with that with my companion then. Uh I'll go with you. And I think, let me inspect your troops. Yep, perfect. I'm actually going to give you some of my wounded. Israel's the freebooters. Eh, we'll give you a couple of recruits too. But I'm going to boost up your numbers actually with some good units. Because you probably are in need of them, honestly. Yeah, that's probably good, right? Yeah, that's that's good. Cool. All right. So he's um, within his limit. I'm within my limit. Getting closer to that castle. We'll probably honestly start the next episode off sieging this down. Oh, what? What's this? Hold up. What is this? I need to figure out if this is something I want to be a part of or not. Yes, this is something I want to be a part of. Okay, well, I don't know. We might get here. Yeah, we're gonna be cutting it really close. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.